How do you sink an enemy you never see? In an ocean you can't even map in three dimensions. In 1945, in the freezing North Sea, a 25-year-old British submarine commander had about four seconds to answer that question. This is the only time in history a fully submerged submarine has ever sunk another fully submerged submarine without a single visual sighting. Late in the war, German U-Boat U is on a secret mission, Operation Caesar. On board, advanced technology specialists and tons of toxic mercury bound for Japan. If it gets through, it could shift the balance in the Pacific. The British know it's coming. Enter HMS Venturer, a small Royal Navy sub hunting a ghost. Its commander, James Launders, has one job, find you and stop it. Both submarines are underwater, no periscopes, no visual contact. Active sonar would give Venturer away. So Launders hunts by sound alone. Every few seconds, his hydrophone operator whispers a bearing. Contact, bearing 082085. Just angles, no range, no depth. Meanwhile, you is zigzagging, constantly changing course to avoid exactly this kind of attack. On the plotting table, those bearings become a shifting web of lines. Launders realizes this isn't a simple interception. It's a moving target in three dimensions. He can't fire at where the U-boat is. He has to fire at where it will be. So he does something no one has done before. He turns underwater combat into a 3D math problem. He estimates u 864 speed from engine noise, guesses its depth from experience, studies the timing of its zigzags to predict the next turn. Batteries are draining, air is running low. Wait too long, he loses the target or gets found himself. He has seconds. In his head, he sketches u 864s future path through the dark water then calculates where that invisible line will intersect with his torpedoes. He orders four torpedoes fired, each at a different depth, each a few seconds apart, not spread across a flat ocean but through a volume of water aimed at a future position that exists only in his mind. Then silence. On U-864, the crew hears something and divies trying to evade an attack they can't see, but Launder's mental geometry is close enough. One torpedo hits. A dull, distant explosion shudders through Ventura. On the hydrophones, the sound of U-864 simply stops. No one on Venturer ever sees the wreck. No bodies, no debris, just an empty ocean and a vanished contact. Years later, divers find U-864 off Norway, broken in two, mercury still leaking from the hull, proof that Launder's four-second firing solution was real. So what do you think? Ruthless calculation or genius under impossible pressure? If you want more hidden stories like this, stay curious. History is full of battles nobody ever really saw.